Adams. I'm from originally from La Rose, born and raised, you know, 45 minutes south of here, and uh, you know, ended up in at Nichols as a you know undergrad. Right, moved to Thibodeau, and then uh, just stuck around. And once I graduated uh, with my bachelor's, um, they were just starting the master's program in biology. And then uh, after that, they said, "Hey, you know, one of the." The professors is retiring. We need somebody to take the, the freshman level courses. So here I am. I started in the fall of 2004, right after I graduated with my master's. Uh, I, I mostly teach uh, freshman level courses, uh, mainly 105 and 106, the non majors biology courses. And uh, every once in a while, I'll, I'll teach a, a majors lab, biology 155 and 156 lab. It's great. It's uh, the biology department is um, even for a, a small university, right? Uh, it's uh, the faculty is close knit and, and basically like a like a family. Um, actually, it's hard for me to say because I really don't have much experience outside of, of Nichols. I actually have seen Nichols improve um, a great deal the 12 years that I've been here so far. Um, and I've, I've seen it from different aspects. So it's, it's grown right when I was here. I don't know the exact numbers, but um, you know, a few more, you know, a couple thousand more students. Uh, classes have definitely gotten larger. Um, and it's 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 growing, it's molding, you know, taking shape. Um, and any of my students watching this will will say, well, yeah, he, he always talks about his hobbies. Um, but it, it this has been my passion, right? I've I've played music, I've I've done, um, you know, one of my hobbies is brewing beer, and I. It's it's biology based. It's something that I could I could enjoy in more than one way. But um, yeah, biology is you know not to be um, what's the word I'm looking for um, corny. It's it's my life. It was something that I had seen um, on a, a news website. And it um, it kind of piqued my interest, you know, you know, a zombie horror movie fan, and uh, it just seemed like a cool concept. It's kind of like a, a tag uh, where you actually start off with one person playing the zombie role, and it basically it's a survival game. Um, and I, I mentioned it to a couple students, and uh, Josh actually took it and, and ran with it, and um, he's actually started a, a group to. Um, as a Nichols on-campus gaming organization, and uh, they're actually going to host. They're they're planning the, the week of Halloween, I think, to to host uh, another um, bout. Right? They actually, I think, they want to do it every semester, but they did it last year. They're they're planning on doing it this year, and they're actually looking for more for more students. Uh, they want about a hundred or so, a um, hundred or more. They, there's a uh, an organization that will actually sponsor the the event. They'll provide. Um, T-shirts and and uh, other things to to help it along. Actually, it wasn't that difficult. It was uh, it the music is since I was ten was always part of my life, and it um, you know just like biology, it's they're they're both passions. Um, and it was it was fairly easy. You know, it's it's always interesting to, or at least was when I was still playing music, uh, to to you know, first day of class and see, you know, students with a slow the knife T-shirt and and actually um, realized that you know there was a connection. So um, it, it actually it was it wasn't difficult. Right? It's uh, you know if if you're passionate about it, it's something that you you, you make time for. Um, actually, my plan is to eventually um, find a PhD program 
uh, get my PhD and and see where that takes me, whether it's you know, teaching or research. Um, I actually never thought myself as a thought of myself as a teacher, but it, it's actually it's it's something that I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, but I, I would like to have that little bit. Um, actually, I, I tell my students is um, appreciate what you have now because once you're out of it and you actually have to earn your living, you know you actually miss. I, at least I do. I miss the the you know, sitting and, and learning. I'm I'm a I'm a professional learner. That's what I do. All my hobbies is actually a learning process. So it's actually kind of filling in the gap of not having the, the education. But yeah, definitely would um, would really like to to pursue a PhD.